everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're getting close to the end of the NHL regular season, so we want to take a look at a few games. But before we do, I want to invite you again to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at four games for Sunday, April the 17th. The Florida Panthers and the Detroit Red Wings. The Panthers come in first in the Eastern Conference, and Detroit has been eliminated from playoff competition. You can see that the Panthers are burning hot the moment winners of their last six, while the Red Wings are ice cold down losers of their last two and are just two and four over their last six games. You can see that on the over-under that Florida has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, while Detroit has also been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. Pretty good indication that this will be a high-scoring game. And if you look at the score prediction, Florida 4, Detroit 3, confidence in prediction of only 44%. But if this continues and the confidence in the prediction goes up, it's a good indication that this game would be high scoring and going over the line. The power ranking indicator shows not a surprise here with Florida at the top of the league at plus 30 and Detroit dropping from plus 12 as of April 9th down to plus 7 on April 12th. If you want to look at the consistency factor, how stable are the two teams? Well, Florida is at plus 29, Detroit's at plus 24. Detroit was as high as plus 26, but you can see that the general trend is that both teams have been going upward uh, as far as the stability factor goes, meaning they're very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. Even though Detroit is the home team, Florida is much better. Florida will be a road favorite. Go with Florida to win this one by one or two goals in a game going over the line. Buffalo and Philadelphia, we will not take a look at that one. San Jose and Minnesota Wild. San Jose enters, have been eliminated from playoff consideration. They are dead status. You can see they have lost their last six. Uh, Minnesota burning hot. They have, win they have won four out of their last six, and they are third in the Western Conference. This is a team that is heading the right direction, and it's really kind of a mismatch on paper, but Let's take a look at it anyway and see what we think as far as the total score will be and the pick at the end. Uh, right now, the score prediction of 6-1 to one for Minnesota with 66% level of confidence. Not a big surprise. I'm leaning towards that as well as far as a blowout goes. Um, this is looking like a game that could go over the line. If you take a look at the over-under for the last six games for both teams, Minnesota has been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six. While San Jose has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. The power ranking indicator shows Minnesota at plus 23, while San Jose is at plus six. The stability factor, which is always interesting to look at, San Jose has actually been more consistent than Minnesota, but that just means they're consistently bad, right? I mean, they're, they're underdogs most games, they are losing most games, so their stability is at plus 26 compared to Minnesota at plus 18. I don't give San Jose much of a chance here at all at home unless Minnesota just packs it in, but I doubt that will happen. Minnesota will walk away with one easily in a game going over the line. St. Louis and Nashville looks like a good game as well. The Blues enter play fourth in the Western Conference, and the Nashville Predators are sixth in the conference as well. Uh, St. Louis is burning hot the moment winners of their last six game, while Nashville is average status. They have won their last game. It was 1-0 over San Jose, and they are 3-3 three three over their last six. St. Louis has been really scoring some goals here. They are involved in games over the line in each of their last six games, while Nashville has been under in four out of their last six. So it's going to be an interesting thing to see whether or not we want to go over or whether or not we want to go under the line on this one. If you go by the score prediction, Nashville 4, St. Louis 3, which I'm not going to be agreeing with, um, not necessarily, but we'll see as we get to the end. But right now, I'm not thinking I'm going with Nashville. But anyway, Nashville 4, St. Louis 3, with confidence in prediction of 75.6%. The power ranking indicator shows that St. Louis is at plus 26 on a slight upward trend, while Nashville's on a downward trend. They were at plus 22 just about a week ago, and now they're down to plus 16. The volatility oscillator shows how stable the two teams are. Neither team has been as stable as you might think. Nashville at plus 14 on a general upward trend, 
But look at St. Louis. They were up as high as plus uh, 11, and they have dipped and came back up a little bit. Now they're at plus 9, but they have not been as consistent according to their favorite underdog status. I do like Nashville probably coming out on top. Now that I'm thinking about it, they're at home. I just feel like this is their game. St. Louis has to lose one eventually. I think Nashville can prevail on this one in overtime. And I think this would be a high-scoring game, so I'm going over. So, again, going over with Nashville to win in overtime. New York Islanders and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Here's the last game we want to look at. The Islanders come in average up versus average for Toronto. Uh, New York has won four out of their last six, and they are coming off of a 5-4 win over Pittsburgh, while Toronto is coming off of a loss, and they are also 4-2 and two over their last six games. The power ranking indicator shows Toronto's been pretty stable here at plus 29, while the Islanders have been up and down, and they are now at plus 13. The score prediction shows Toronto by a 4-3 slim margin of win at home, with confidence in prediction of about 68%. If you look at the over-under, New York has been over in four out of the last six games, while Toronto has been involved in games over in five out of the last six games. If you take a look at the stability factor, the two teams have been pretty stable. New York is at plus 20. Toronto at plus 14. But you see they've been up and down. They were at plus 14 way back on uh, February 1st, and they've been up and down, never going above plus 14 since then, so they have not been as consistent with their favorite underdog status over the last couple of months. The way I look at this game is I think Toronto is going to prevail at home. Um, yeah, I think that Toronto is going to prevail at home as the fourth seed in the conference compared to the ninth seed in the Islanders. Toronto at home by two goals in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NHL for April 17th. Happy betting. We will see you again next